And see, I have the problem of being a former teacher where everything for me relied on those benchmarks and state standards and meeting certain goals. Well, let me just tell you this right off the back, I did not want homeschool. We disagree on some of the methods, a lot of the methods, but I come from a long line of teachers. <laughs> This video is gonna be a little different, a lot different than most of my other videos, and it's, I'm gonna be more real. I'm gonna be raw, more personal, more human, I guess. I hope I'm human. I'm gonna share with you my whys and hows of my homeschooling experience, the struggles, how my spouse responds to things, and, and why am I doing this? It's because I really like this group of moms. <laughs> This is a heartfelt homeschool mom tag, and if you don't know what tags are, it's when a host, in this case it's Tiffany from Five Peas in the Rod Pod, she got together a group of moms, wrote out some questions, and we're supposed to answer them for you. And I have graciously been honored to be tagged by Christy from One Bless Mess. She's not a mess, she's amazing. I am tagging Colleen from Our Blessed life. Both of those moms and Tiffany are amazing. I'm going to put a link down in the description box below. So make sure when you're done with this video to check them out. So let's get started with question number one. Okay, what is it? How long have you been homeschooling? I have been homeschooling for four years. That's really easy. Unless, unless you count pre-K and birth, then my son is 10, 10 years. How many children are you homeschooling? Three. Well, that's unless you count pre-K and, okay, then four, because then I'll go ahead and count my three-year-old. When did you know that you wanted to homeschool? Well, let me just tell you this right off the back, I did not want homeschool. Nope, not happening. I was not for that at all. But it was when I was walking from my classroom to the office, I was running an errand in between classes, and I saw a group of students, and I was observing how they were responding to each other, and it just all this public school drama stuff just, kind of rolled up in a ball in the gut pit of my stomach, the Lord impressing upon me at that moment, I'm homeschooling. It was pretty quick. It was like night and day. And when I came home that day, I said to my husband, oh, by the way, we're homeschooling starting next year. What was your spouse's reaction? <laughs> and are they supportive? Uh, my husband's reaction at that moment, because this is the continuation of that story, it's about time because he was the one that actually wanted me to homeschool, and I was the one that didn't. Everybody in our family was homeschooling except me on my husband's side of the family, not my side of the family. My side of the family are still teachers. Well, they're retired now, but I come from a long line of teachers. <laughs> are they supportive of me? I don't think all of them are, but I don't think they tell me. However, I do think some of them are, and they tell me. It's kind of confusing. I'm gonna go with it. Next question, how do you make sure you and your spouse share the same vision for your homeschool journey? See, we have different roles. He goes to work and I tell him what to do. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. We disagree on some of the methods, a lot of the methods. However, I will say that if I wasn't a teacher, a former teacher, I wouldn't have the confidence that I do have. How do we keep on the same page? I really pump up the curriculum and Tom how wonderful it is. I'm like, this is a great curriculum. It's awesome. It's for like the best kids in the world and the smartest kids in the world and it will make them super, super smart. And so you will never have to worry about our kids being behind in math again. Cause this is the best curriculum. And I was a teacher and I know that because I was. No, that doesn't work that way. Sorry. I wish it did though. Cause I could totally pull out my credentials every single time he doubted me. I don't think that would work either. No, honestly, I think it's because we put the Lord in the center and we trust Him to lead the way. But we still disagree on a lot of things and we do talk a lot, we talk a lot. Have you had any mentors help you along the way? Indirectly. I think a lot of people just leave me alone and it's good and bad. I don't have people telling me, well, no, what am I, who am I kidding? Homeschool moms like to tell each other exactly what to do all the time. I'm so getting a thumbs down for that one. We do. We're brutal, man. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, I promise. No, but I really think because I was a former teacher, I do have a lot of people leave me alone, and I think a lot of people are intimidated by me because I was a former teacher, but I am probably the most, I'm gonna use the word non-judgmental. I don't judge parents and how they homeschool. 
But I do indirectly learn and have mentors. And I'm gonna say uh, my biggest mentor is someone I actually evaluate. <laughs> In Florida, we have to do evaluators and it's a certified teacher that comes into the home and, and checks. And I have whole videos on that and you can totally check that out. But yeah, I do. I think the person that has inspired me the most has been someone I have evaluated. But it's a collection of the women that I've evaluated. I walk into these homes and these women and these moms and dads, there's been situations where it's been me and a dad. They have inspired me to pick out new curriculum or to look at things a little bit differently. I think I learned more from my evaluations than a seasoned homeschool mom that sits down with me to have a little chat. Yeah, but I listen to the seasoned homeschool mom too because they, they know a lot of stuff. But the question was, do I have a mentor? I don't have a mentor. I have lots of mentors. What is the best piece of advice you've ever received about homeschooling? Not to compare myself to others, other moms, uh, comparing my kids to other kids, comparing my kids to the public school system kids. That's the best advice I've ever gotten because we're all different. I'm different. What is the best piece of advice you can give to someone just starting out? For those that are coming out of the public school system or private school system, my advice would be to de-school. De-schooling is that adjustment period from traditional school to homeschool. There's going to be a lot of yelling and screaming and fighting and feeling your lack of ability to be a good mom and their lack of being a good person. And it's, it's you need to stop the curriculum. It's about building that trust and relationship again with your mom and dad and kid. What is the most difficult aspect of homeschooling? Not getting sucked into having to meet those benchmarks or state standards. That's the hardest thing because I have to tell myself that over and over and over again and see I have the problem of being a former teacher where everything for me relied on those benchmarks and state standards and meeting certain goals. And, and for a lot of us that are faithful and religious or Christian or Muslim, whatever religion, we homeschool a lot of us because we want our faith to be the centerpiece of our house. However, we tend to forget those things and then we start focusing on those state standards and benchmarks and math and language arts and all of our faith kind of goes off to the side and we forget about that. Even though that was the initial reason why we started homeschooling in the first place. And if that's not the reason why you started homeschooling in the first place and you're getting sucked into meeting the benchmarks and state standards and that maybe that's not your goal, remember why you started in the first place. What do you find the most rewarding? Aw, spending time with my family. You know, cuddling up on the couch and watching a TV show together in the middle of the day. Okay, no, I'm gonna be real. What do I find most rewarding? Why do I have to think about this once for so long? Because we can do whatever we want to as a family whenever we want to. There's no pressure. There's no pressure from other teachers. There's no one spying in on my kids to tell me what and how to raise them. I know teachers are great. Teachers are great people and they love their students, but nobody loves them more than their parents. And nobody wants them to be successful in life than, than their parents. And nobody is gonna be as patient with them. But their parents will. That's the most rewarding part. Do you make time for yourself? What do you do to practice self-care? I'm making my time for myself right here, right now. I like making videos. I also am a huge food fanatic. I love food, but I like eating the right kind of food. And I make sure that we are buying organic, that I'm properly making my food and eating healthy so I have the energy and stamina to keep up with my kids and it works. I do go to the chiropractor. I really like going to the chiropractor. But I go to the chiropractor because I was in a car accident. But that's a whole nother story. I don't drink coffee. This is not coffee. I'm very deceiving. But it's water. It's water with actually some herbs in there that, it's not like, you know, herbs. It's like herbs to help keep me healthy and natural, you know, I love it. It actually tastes pretty gross. I don't know why I'm saying that I love the taste of it because I don't, but it's very comforting to drink out of a mug. <laughs> For Christian moms, do you have a homeschool Bible verse? I have a life verse, I guess. 
Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. These words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall talk with them when you rise up, when you lie down, when you walk by the way. They shall be for frontlets between your eyes, and you shall write them upon the doorpost of your houses. Deuteronomy. Somewhere. No! My phone died, and now I don't know what the questions are. No! <laughs> but I think that was the last one. Go ahead and check out Colleen at Our Blessed Life. I will go ahead and put a link in the description box below as well as right here. And don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel and check out my other content because I want to encourage you moms and dads, whether your child has special needs or not, whether you homeschool or go to public school, I want to empower you. So thanks for watching and I will see you in our next video.